I am Council Member Vanessa Gibson, Chair of the Committee on Public Safety. I welcome each and every one of you to today's uh, important vote on a number of important pieces of legislation as well as resolutions. Uh, this morning we will be voting on proposed intro 1724A, which is relating to requiring the police department to disclose gun violence information to applicants for firearm licenses as well as permits. Resolution number 1676, which opposes current federal legislation known as the Hearing Protection Act of 2017 as well as proposed resolution 1677A, which opposes pending federal legislation known as the Conceal to Carry Reciprocity Act of 2017. I am proud to co-sponsor each of these pieces of legislation as well as the resolutions along with our speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito. All three pieces of legislation and resolutions relate to gun safety. Um, almost every day in America, in this country, someone is killed by gun violence. In fact, the majority of these cases, unfortunately, do not make the news because it's all too common to make it worthy of news. Despite this being an almost everyday occurrence, our federal lawmakers have refused to take sensible action on comprehensive gun control legislation. We in the city of New York have one of the strongest gun laws in this nation, and we must truly do everything possible to continue to pass reasonable and practical legislation. In addition, we continue to stand firm in opposing harmful federal legislation that threatens to undermine all of the great progress we have made in this city, which further keeps New Yorkers less safe and truly, truly undermines our efforts to protect every New Yorker. Resolution 1676 opposes the federal legislation that's known as the Hearing Protection Act of 2017. This deceivingly titled bill would eliminate the transfer tax on silencers and eliminate the months-long federal registration process. Many of the recent victims of the Las Vegas shooting were saved because they could hear the sound of gunfire. This loosening of restrictions on gun silencers would make all of us less safe, and I hope my colleagues will join with me in strongly opposing this legislation. Proposed Resolve 1677A will call upon Congress and the President to oppose the Federal Concealed to Carry Reciprocity Act of 2017. This committee heard and passed a resolution on a similar bill last May under the former federal administration. We continue to oppose this dangerous piece of legislation. This bill would allow a resident from one state who has a license to carry a concealed handgun to lawfully carry their firearm to a different state regardless of the licensing eligibility standards of the other state. New York City has one of the strictest licensing laws and our licensing division at the NYPD conducts a rigorous screening of each applicant prior to granting that license. The city does not recognize out-of-city permits, including those issued by the state of New York. This federal bill would undermine our ability to keep our fellow New Yorkers safe, and it will also compromise our police officers' ability to safely police our streets. Finally, proposed intro 1724A relates to requiring the police department to disclose gun violence information to applicants for firearm licenses and permits. According to surveys, 63% of Americans believe that having a gun in their home makes them more safe. However, many studies indicate quite the opposite. Homes with firearms have an increased risk of suicide, accidental shooting and death during domestic incidents. This bill would require the NYPD to provide a warning to applicants for firearm licenses and permits relating to the increased risk of owning a firearm. Just like the warnings that you see on the side of cigarette packs have changed the perception of smoking, these gun warnings are the first step to changing the public's conversation. We would be one of the first major jurisdictions to enact this type of legislation. I'd like to thank the speaker 
for her leadership and sponsorship of today's legislation and resolutions, and certainly the staff that have worked really hard on all of these bills before us. We truly continue to strive to pass legislation that keeps all New Yorkers safe. I hope all of my colleagues will join me in voting in favor of today's agenda. I want to thank the Committee on Public Safety, our senior legislative counsel, Deepa Ambakar, legislative policy analyst, Casey Addison, financial analyst, Steve Reister, and also want to thank Brian Crow for his work and joining us today. And with that, do any of my colleagues have questions on the bills and the results on the agenda before us? Okay. And with that, I will ask uh, William Martin to call our roll. Thank you, colleagues, for being here. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee. Roll call vote committee on public safety. All items are coupled. Chair Gibson. I vote aye. Matteo. Uh, voting no, no. Gentili. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Torres. Aye. Thank you, colleagues, for being here. We're going to keep the roll open to allow other members of the committee to join us. Thank you so much.